If the water is flowing red, you know it's time for Six Flags Over Georgia Freight Fest. We are back for more soul taking and to bring the fear. <laughs> Look at that sign behind me. You know what that means. We're here at Six Flags Over Georgia to present you the ultimate guide to Six Flags Fright Fest. Let's get ready to go on this adventure that rocks. but I think this horse needs a drink. First question we know you want pointed out is, when do the monsters come out for Fright Fest out here at Six Flags? Six o'clock in the evening, you wanna be around Daredevil Dive for the Wakening. Let's see if we can catch the monsters. That doesn't look good. The monsters are out, and let's get the guide to Fright Fest Six Flags Over Georgia started. One thing I did want to mention is that to enter the haunted houses and mazes, it is an additional charge. Sometimes the lines can be backed up while waiting for your frights. That's why we do highly recommend get the express pass and skip those lines. We'll find the redemption area right next to the Fountain of Blood. Fear Zones, they definitely have them out here at Six Flags Over Georgia, and that is free to the public to go explore all the frights the Six Flags Over Georgia Scare Zones have to offer. Ooh, did you just see that? Fright Fest, check out this fun photo opportunity out here at Reaper's Curse. Check out the bottom of that chair. Somebody wants to get out of there. I can't put my finger on it, but something is definitely strange out here in Roswell, Georgia. That's right. When was the last time you've seen a phone booth? If you want a time reference on when it starts getting foggy, it is now 6.15 and the fog is starting to come across Monster Man. Keep in mind it's 6.15 when I recorded this. Time change could change all of that. They do have maps located all around the park that tell you where all things Fright Fest are located. However, that is way too big for me to fold into my pocket and carry it around as a map. So you may want to just download the Six Flags app because it will have all the information regarding Fright Fest right on there. Welcome to Camp Slasher. Six Flags has a great array of haunted houses this year. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to film while we're going through those haunted houses. So what we're gonna do is I'll just show you the opening and then I'll give you what's up with that haunted house afterwards. Camp Slasher. There is a slasher, a serial slasher on the loose inside a summer camp. What I did absolutely love is Six Flags Over Georgia's use of the queue line, even the ride building line itself. I thought that was a great touch to be able to go through all these scenes of a summer camp. And at the end, you even go into the camp counselor's office and you hear radio broadcasts that he is still out there. I can't tell you what happens next. 
but you gotta check the it out. Scare zones, you just never know what frights await. <sighs> Nyctophobia. I think that's how you say it. Nyctophobia, I gotta say, I actually like this one. It is a unique take where lights are off, you're in a dark maze, and every now and then the strobe light flashes and you see this blood of neon dragged through the floor that you gotta follow if you want out of the maze because there are, just like any maze, some dead ends in there. Time to check out Dr. Fright. Dead man's party. A tip for Dead Man's Party, arrive early, because the seats in here fill up fast. A sneak peek of what it's like at Six Flags Holiday in the Park? Check out this. All Halloween-y, but I'm also pretty sure this tree is used for Holiday in the Park. What a great use of light, Six Flags. One, one. Out here at Six Flags over Georgia, I'm really excited for is Stranger Things. Let's go inside Hawkins, Indiana. It's the Hawkins High School Halloween. And it looks like we're about ready to enter the gymnasium. The Stranger Things one is a lot of fun. If you're familiar with the show, you're gonna see a lot of references. I saw Eddie in there. You're walking through the whole school. There's vines everywhere, just like on the show. All kinds of theming. Vecna, I mean, you get, I absolutely love this haunted house. Up ahead, check out the light effects of this tunnel. And I love how you can hear the wind blowing through as you walk. Some strange things appear to be afoot at Gotham. I hope Batman's on duty. Down here in Gotham, besides the screams behind me, is a freak show. You gotta make time to check out. The whole thing. Here you go. Do not let it hit the floor. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think that's a good idea. The size of that clown. Wow. Uh, that sweet clown gave me her balloon. How nice was that? Roswell, Georgia. Home of aliens that want a phone home. Oh, someone's in for a bad day because this UFO crashed into this car. Not good, nice, buddy. Learn where to park. Looking for some adventurous food during Fright Fest? Go down to where Pandemonium is and you're gonna see Six Flags Oktoberfest with features like this, the German pot roast pretzel sandwich. Another offering is the spinach and feta cheese pretzel. That smells amazing. This pretzel is loaded with feta cheese. So if you're a feta cheese lover, highly, highly recommend this. And it's just warm and flaky. Yeah, this, this is a go-to. Gotta love how they have a Hertz parked right in front of Goliath. I have a feeling this next one's gonna have a lot of clowns. Time to enter the Carnival of Chaos. Carnival of Chaos was a lot of fun. There's so many clowns in there, you don't know if they're real clowns, not real clowns. They have one scene that is filled with balls, like, you know, like Chuck E. Cheese ball pits. I mean, and there's one scare that actually did get me. It's the Garland Room. Great job on that scare actor. 
because like she just popped right out of the garland and I just was not expecting it. Saw's 20th anniversary actually has a haunt here at Six Flags Fright Fest. Looks like we're going in to the Gideon Meatpacking plant. The Saw house has a lot of scenes from the movie, and I think this might be the house that has the most live actors in it. So if you want a lot of fun, a good scare, and I think there was one part that you could actually choose your own path on which way you wanted to go. Not sure on that, could be wrong, but that is what it looked like. Great job out here. The park is closed. The screams are gone. What a great time out here at Six Flags Fright Fest. Haunted houses, scare zones, shows, food. They've got all kinds of stuff going on. We hope you enjoyed this guide to all things Six Flags Over Georgia Fright Fest. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe yet, what are you waiting for? Because you really never know where we're going to end up next. However, you can be sure if it has anything to do with tricks and treats, we're going to make it an adventure that rocks. Thank you so much Six Flags for having us out. Looking for more fun photos and maybe little mini videos that we didn't include in this video you're watching now? Be sure to check out our TikTok, our Instagram, and our Facebook pages. And we're gonna put those links also in the description down below.